I'm Sean Hines and this is Hard News for Friday, December 5th, 2014. Dragon Ball Z is preparing yet another movie in the franchise to arrive in Japan on April 18th of next year. Dragon Ball Z The Resurrection of F will feature everyone's favorite prince, Frieza. This footage features a handful of scenes in a loop on the Japanese morning show Mezamashi TV and it's the first time we've had a look at the anime. Will Funimation be bringing the newest Dragon Ball Z stateside? Let's call Lauren and find out! Well, there you have it, Dragon Ball for everyone! On the subject of games for the people, SNK has taken over PlayStation Blog in order to have the community help vote on the next classic Neo Geo title to bring to PSN. Right now, Metal Slug 3 is launching on PS3, PS4, and Vita to mark the 25th anniversary of the Neo Geo AES console and NVS arcade cap. New titles to vote on include King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, and Samurai Showdown. While they don't have Wind Jammers on the list, they do have Mark of the Wolves. So be sure to voice your opinion so we keep getting these great games. Speaking of great games, Capcom may have just had their newest installment in the Street Fighter franchise leaked for all of us to enjoy. Now most leaks come from some sort of internal document or mole, but this one is all Capcom's fault, who posted the trailer on their YouTube and then promptly removed it. It didn't stop Daily Motion from keeping tabs on it though, and what was probably going to be announced sometime over the next 72 hours is now in the wild. Now graphically, it resembles Street Fighter 4, but with more detailed character models who don't look quite as emotive. Ryu and Chun-Li throw some kicks and punches between B-roll of the fighting game community pros in what is almost a car commercial. Then the entire teaser ends with the explosive reveal of PS4 and PC platform exclusivity. I guess Sony looked at Microsoft's recent foray into the fighting game community with killer instinct and countered with the greatest fighting game franchise of all time. Boom. And this weekend is going to be rife with new game announcements. Tonight, Jeff Keighley will be holding the Video Game Awards from Las Vegas with Brian and Craig there as we speak. But the big news from the event won't be the winners. No, the focus will be on the over 12 world premieres in store for us, including Bloodborne, Metal Gear Online, and some new King's Quest news. Additionally, Sony is holding the PlayStation Experience the following two days, and they'll have all kinds of stuff, from No Man's Sky details to whatever Imagon is, and a mystery game or two. Now, you can catch the Game Awards at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on every platform imaginable. Plus, we'll be hosting the PlayStation Experience on our own Twitch channel and on the top of the site all weekend. You can find a complete schedule of that event in the description. Our comment of the day comes from Toilemonger, who suggests, the guy would have just waited a little bit so he could promote Tropical Freeze instead. Nintendo surely would have given him plenty of ice packs. Nailed it! Thanks for sticking out with me through this tough week, and we look forward to a few surprises over the next two weeks. I'm Sean, and that was hard news. Hey, thanks for making it for another episode of Hard News. Sean and I played through some of the worst parts of Duke Nukem Forever on the Screw Attack live stream last night. There were vibrators, tentacle porn, and a battle lord. Click this video to my left where I punched that battle lord in the dick. It was a really weird night.